In this one, let's take a look at a concept from linear algebra. Why is a line not with the origin, not a subspace? So to understand that, look at the basic properties of a subspace in linear algebra. It must contain the zero vector v, must be closed under scalar multiplication, and it must be closed under vector addition. So take a look at what the issue is with a line not through the origin. This is a graph here I'm going to make. Let me just perhaps uh, move this around a little bit this way. All right, so first, let me draw a line here. Imagine this is a line like that, and it's not through the origin specifically, if you look at it very carefully. So that's the first issue. It fails this part that says must contain the zero vector of v. It doesn't contain the zero vector of v. That's one fact. All right, what I'm going to do is now I'm going to take this, I'm going to copy this right next to it. And now look at this next problem. It says must be closed under scalar multiplication. So what does that mean in practice? I'm going to take this here. I'm going to freeze it. And now, take a vector, say from the origin. Now this vector moves along the line. You see this? But then, for example, just stop it in that location. And now look, it says, must be closed under scalar multiplication. A line through the origin is not closed under scalar multiplication. For the following reason, take a look. If you draw a scalar multiple of this vector up to here, you see how that scalar multiple is not on the line? So this is just an example that basically allows you to conclude that scalar multiples of vectors are off the line. And the last property that it violates is the one that says must be closed under vector addition. So what I'm going to do is again, I'm going to take this, I'm going to paste this over here, and let's look at that last part of it. Must be closed under vector addition. So draw a couple of vectors extending from the origin over to the line. So here's one, the red one. Draw another one, the green one, for example, this way. And now look at what happens. Make a copy of the red vector, move it over here, and I think you probably see the issue already, which is that when you add them, the resultant is not on the line. It's right here, off the line. But to summarize it all, the first issue is it doesn't contain the origin. Second, it contains a vector, but when you scale it, the vector goes off the line, so it's not closed under scalar multiplication. And remember, closed means if you multiply it by a constant, it would be kept along that line. That's not happening here. It's going off it. And lastly, it must be closed under vector addition. The green and then the red vector, they are both on the line, but when you add them, they produce a vector that is clearly off the line. Therefore, it's not closed under vector addition. Violates closure under vector addition. And that's it. So if it's been helpful, insightful, friends, please leave a like. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in another video.